What's up guys? Got a review here on a knife I took on trade and I'm glad I did. Uh, the Medford Marauder H in 3V coated blade. And that is going to be my only complaint about this knife. Honestly. The previous user you know, actually use the knife. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's, this is going to happen. Uh, I, I'm happy with the trade. I, he, you know, showed me the picture of the scratches. It is what it is. Scratches on a blade are going to happen, but that's why I like satin blades. They don't show wear. Um, over time, I believe that will look really, really rough. It's going to get worse and worse. Ironically, this side doesn't have any scratches, so he just got a little carried away on that side the knife looks really cool carries amazing feels great in hand the marauder is hands down medford's best knife in my opinion now, the marauder h i haven't had the full size of my hands i know that i would love that knife if i got it but I'm still working my way up to that uh, i actually got it with this really cool lanyard uh, i'm not a lanyard guy but i left it on there i think the orange and black works uh, even on the scales, you can see a few spots where the PVD coating came off. Uh, I'm just not a fan of coated blades, but on the other hand, this is a 3V blade. Um, not exactly a stainless blade. You know, you take a chance on uh, getting some patina or things like that, and, um, it, in a $200 knife, <clears throat> scratches are not that big of a deal. A $750 knife, uh, you know, I, I kind of want it to look good for a long time. Now, this knife here, <clears throat> you could beat on this knife every day, all day long, and five years later, I believe it's still going to look new. You know, it's just about a raw titanium finish. It has a little bit of a bronze anno, but... Uh, it's, it's pretty much a raw finish and I, I like that. I mean, I think that's why we like titanium is we can use uh, raw scales and, and have a great looking finish and not show a bunch of wear or any type of coating peel off. Um, I will say that this knife has probably had more use than all my other Medfords, but the action on this thing is unbelievable. I mean, I, I would absolutely call that drop shitty one one thumb deploy it and then you know just a half a shake and it's in 0.19 actually i think these are let's see that's a little bit thinner i believe than 0.19 the blade anyway this is a 0.19 blade this is a little bit thinner uh but this knife is perfect. Now, I'm going to eventually sell this knife and I'm gonna get this knife in this this finish. And then all three of my favorite methods will be in the same finish. But I took this one on a good trade. It was a good deal for me. And to be honest with you, out of all my knives, the last few weeks I've been carrying this one the most. I like it the most. The action, the weight, the size, uh, the one thing good about that 3V is one, I got a razor edge on this thing and, and once you get that you don't have to mess with it for a while especially for a guy like me that's opening boxes and crap like that it just ain't gonna go dull it's gonna hang on for a long time I've had several other PVD coated blades and I've never had any scratches in them and I've, I've been told that the coating is actually harder than the steel and that most of the time the scratches are superficial. It's actually the material that you scratched on it, but this one is actually to the metal. So someone got a little aggressive with it, but you know, that's probably why he bought the 3V blade. He knew he was gonna use it hard and, and you can with 3V, it's tough. It's about as tough as it gets. Uh, six gun hardware. Now the looks, the black on black with the orange lanyard, that's a killer look. But after a couple of years, it ain't gonna be a killer look of, of hard use. It's gonna be a you know, beat up knife, but you know, I know some of you guys like that look. Uh, that's just not my cup of tea. I like to like my tools to look new, you know, even five years after I got them, I take very good care of them. 
if I'm going to be prying on something that's not going to be with an $800 knife. Uh, it's going to be with a screwdriver. But, you know, you get in those situations where a knife's all you got, right? So, um, let's check some dimensions. Uh, just a little bit over four and a quarter total blade length and then cutting edge probably a little over three and three quarters handle scales are right at five inches total length uh, just shy of nine and a quarter with the breaker now this is the marauder h the full size marauder has the same footprint it's the same size knife it's just thicker um I know that I would love that knife. I'm still working my way up to it. Um, but this knife for EDC, for me, this is the perfect size knife. Uh, the Marauder, the regular Marauder would probably be a little heavy for carrying every day, but I still want it. Uh, this knife does not intrude in my pocket, believe it or not. I mean, it's a, it's a big knife compared to most. I mean, look at it up against the Chris Reef Sabenza. I mean, it makes that knife look tiny, and that's the large Sabenza. But it's a different knife, and and I love Chris Reeves' knives. Sabenzas are unbelievable. Uh, I'll always own a Sabenza. But every day, day-to-day -day working, I carry Medfords. They're great knives. They're just solidly built. They all run on phosphorus bronze washers except for a few specialty knives uh, around bearings but it works you don't ever have lock stick with a medford I, I don't think i've ever even heard of anyone having lock stick maybe one person uh out of the tens of thousands of knives they sell a year um but yeah it's just a great knife i, I love it it's this is this is absolutely my favorite and if it if it had the same finish as my um proxima and my ombre it would stay in my collection forever. It would be my daily carry for a very long time. And I'm gonna get to that, I'm gonna sell this one. And uh, there's guys out there that like coated blades that love 3V, and this is the knife for them. I'll sell it at a discount and uh, buy me a, a, a new one. Uh, I just really, really like the footprint and the weight and everything of this knife. Uh, I think it's the flagship of uh, Medford. There's you know, the Marauder, the Marauder H, the Midi, the Slim Midi. The, I mean, it just goes all the way down to the dress, tiny little, you know, gentleman's folder, which is probably about the size of everybody else's regular knives. Uh, these are big, overbuilt, awesome knives, and I feel like I can get one I pay for when I buy a Medford. I've said that many times. Um, anyway, just wanted to show off first impressions video, you know. You know, you're not going to hear anything bad because I'm a huge Medford fan, but and if there was something I didn't like about it, I'd tell you. Uh, there's nothing I don't like about this knife other than the coating, and that's knife specific. I'm going to get this knife in the finish that I want. I'm going to keep it forever. So, anyway, this is my favorite model of the Medfords, uh, hands down, followed by the Proxima and the the Proxima and the Ombre. And hopefully soon I'll have all three of them in the same finish and they'll be with me forever. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Check out the Marauder H. Later.